What a breaking news for all Sister Wives fans. Mary Brown was in a relationship with another man after her divorce from Cody. And Mary says she loves him a lot and will marry him. But eventually Mary falls in love with another boy and goes on honeymoon with him. Stay with us till the end of the video to know more about the above. Before starting the video, another important information I want to share with you is that Sister Wives fans have recently raised concerns about a multi-level marketing, MLM, company that several members of the Brown family endorse. Among the various products and services the Browns have promoted over the years, one has drawn particular attention from fans. In recent posts on Reddit, fans have discussed a podcast episode titled, If You Were Ever Confused WTF Plexus Even Is. Backhand Index Pointing Down Medium Dark Skin Tone Backhand Index Pointing Down Medium Dark Skin Tone Woman Face Palming Medium Dark Skin Tone, which examines one of the MLM companies associated with the Browns. The podcast, Sawbones, a marital tour of misguided medicine, features Dr. Sydney McElroy and her husband Justin, who evaluate different products for their validity. In their discussion of Plexus, the hosts found some positives, but ultimately concluded that the products are not particularly unique. They noted that the main ingredients promoting the results claimed by the Browns are primarily caffeine and magnesium. Additionally, they highlighted the company's origins as Breast Check and its transformation into a weight loss and health management company. Justin also delved into the business structure of the company, dissecting its multi-level marketing levels. Following the initial Reddit post, numerous Sister Wives fans expressed delight at the Sawbones review, with comments like, I love Sawbones' heart suit, an unexpected but very welcome crossover, and I love Justin and Sydney. Such a great podcast. However, the discussion quickly expanded to encompass broader issues. Many fans voiced dissatisfaction with the use of parasocial relationships for financial gain and expressed skepticism about taking advice from the Sister Wives stars, particularly given their relationships with Cody Brown. Cody Brown, the central figure of Sister Wives, initially aimed to showcase his polygamous lifestyle but has faced criticism for the breakdown of his family portrayed on the show. This failure has led to comparisons with other polygamous families featured on TLC, such as Danielle Merrifield's family from Seeking Sister Wife. While Cody's impact on reality TV is undeniable, his series has invited comparisons with other shows featuring polygamous lifestyles. Seeking Sister Wife, for example, offers a more varied portrayal by following multiple families instead of focusing solely on one, providing a broader perspective on contemporary polygamy. This series delves into the journey of seeking another wife, the courtship process, and the challenges of integrating a new member into the family. While Sister Wives documented Robin Brown's courtship and the subsequent rocky transition into marriage over a decade ago, recent comparisons between Danielle and Garrick Merrifield's relationship and Cody Brown's plural marriage have been firmly rejected by Danielle Merrifield herself. Danielle emphasizes that her dynamic with Garrick bears no resemblance to Cody Brown's relationships, particularly considering the ultimate failure of Cody's marriages. She highlights that just as the failure of one monogamous marriage doesn't dictate the fate of all monogamous marriages, the same principle applies to polygamous unions. Having followed Cody's journey on sister wives since high school, Danielle acknowledges the Brown family's initial positive portrayal, but notes the subsequent challenges they faced. Despite Cody's initial goal of showcasing the normalcy of polygamous families and countering negative stereotypes, the series ultimately may have only pretended to befriend Mary in order to manipulate her. Interestingly, the only wives who seemed to genuinely bond were Christine and Janelle, a connection that appeared to strengthen after their move to Flagstaff. Notably, these two were also the first to distance themselves from Cody, indicating that his control over them as their spiritual husband had waned. If Cody Brown desires constant admiration and nightly intimacy, he might resort to manipulative tactics to maintain a sense of control and exclusivity within his marriages. By fostering competition and animosity among his wives, he could ensure that they primarily communicate through him, allowing him to dictate the dynamics of their relationships. This strategy might also discourage the wives from collaborating or engaging with each other's children, further solidifying his central role in the family. It's plausible that Cody deliberately sowed chaos as a means of asserting dominance 
and preventing his wives from forming alliances against him. Viewers of Sister Wives have observed instances where Cody's behavior seemed designed to pit his wives against each other, leading to resentment and distrust among them. His adult children, upon comparing notes, reportedly realized inconsistencies in their father's interactions depending on which wife he was with at the time. Many fans of the show believe that Cody actively pursued a strategy of divide and rule, leveraging conflicts and insecurities among his wives to maintain his position of authority. This manipulation may have extended to interfering with the natural bonds forming between certain wives, particularly in situations like their relocation to Flagstaff, where alliances were perceived to threaten his control. Reflecting on Cody Brown's actions, it does seem plausible that he intentionally fostered divisions among his wives to prevent them from uniting against him. This tactic would allow him to maintain control within the family dynamics and potentially fulfill his desire for constant admiration and intimacy. However, the consequences of such manipulation appear to have backfired, resulting in strained relationships and ultimately leading to the departure of several wives from the polygamous arrangement. As for the success or failure of polygamy in Cody's case, chin with Brazilian woman Roberta to the failed attempt with Leah, the ups and downs have been publicly documented. However, the arrival of Leah Lily Melissa Merrifield in May 2023 signifies a new chapter for Garrick and his family. While past relationships may have faltered, the joy of parenthood offers a fresh perspective. Garrick's commitment to fatherhood, coupled with his efforts to learn from past mistakes, could potentially endear him to viewers and shift the narrative towards a focus on familial love and growth. Garrick Merrifield's journey has been riddled with controversy due to Leia's arrival seems to have ignited a newfound sense of paternal responsibility within him. In April 2024, Danielle shared a touching Instagram video capturing Garrick's palpable joy as he interacted with Leia for the first time. His tender gestures and affectionate demeanor were evident, illustrating his deep connection with his newborn daughter. Danielle's accompanying commentary provided further insight for fans, highlighting the emotional significance of this moment for their family. Nevertheless, Garrick's past actions on seeking sister wife cannot be ignored. From his initial pursuit of Roberta without prioritizing Danielle's feelings to his decisions regarding intimacy and family planning, he has faced criticism for his choices. The introduction of Leah into their dynamic further strained relationships, leading to betrayal and ultimately the end of his relationship. Today the news we share with you. After hearing this news you will be shocked. Christine Brown who is almost 50 plus is married to a 25-year-old man and they have a baby to do and they are going on vacation for their first honeymoon. But Christine Brown had a previous husband. So where is he? Did they break up? All such questions will be answered at the end of the video.